All right, so in this video, we are talking about something that I absolutely love and get excited about every time I see it. So stay tuned, you don't wanna miss this. Hey everyone, it's Kimbala's Conscious Life and Success Coach, and I'm really excited to have you here with me today. I want to give a warm welcome hug to anyone who's new to this channel. If you're not new, I'm sending you the same warm welcome hug. Welcome back. Um, if you are new, I do swear quite a bit, and I prefer the F word. That's just part of my vocabulary. So if you're highly offended with swear words, then please go click off <laughs> because I'm not changing for you or anyone else. Okay, before I dive in into this fun topic, which by the way is birds before land, I want to remind you that if you feel like you need additional support, motivation, you need a deeper understanding of these concepts like your thoughts create reality, everyone as you pushed out, law of assumption, whatever, how to manifest money, your SP, whatever it is, I am definitely available to help you. I have email coaching. I have one-on-one -on -one video coaching. I also have a paid Facebook group. I also have, you know, how to manifest your SP back and keep them for good online course. I am almost done revamping my self-love self-concept course. I'm so fucking excited for it. It's so dope. And it's just like, ooh, it's almost done. I will let you know when that happens, when it's completed. And I also have something really fun and a un unique way to work with me that is, you know, uh, working with me in a coaching setting via Zoom twice a month in a group format. So it's a group Zoom coaching session twice a month that you get where I do a Q&A one, one time a month live. And then um, I have just a hot seat laser coaching for whoever shows up and, and wants some coaching. Um, this is in my VIP group and you can find the info um, on my website. And basically it's a group where we video Zoom a coaching session and it's super fun and it's a great way to work with me um, intensely and have that ongoing support. For those of you that don't need like constant, you know, weekly, this is twice a month um, to keep you on track, keep you focused and, and just to motivate you and support you so that you have the breakthroughs and transformation so that you manifest what the fuck you want. So, all right, anyways, enough about that. Today we're talking about something that's super fun that I absolutely love, and that is birds before land. So a lot of time when people are new to this game of manifesting or law of assumption, they don't really understand, and they look at partial manifestations or birds before land as something negative, something not working. You need to change that fucking story right now because it's actually the opposite and it's not true and it's going to hinder you from getting what you want because that's what you're focusing on and believing and persisting in and so you'll manifest it not working. So what is birds before land? Well, birds before land is partial manifestations basically. So basically your thoughts create a reality. So when you start focusing affirming this new story, whether it's concept of self or it's something about your SP or money or whatever it is you want in your life, all of a sudden you'll start seeing people come in and literally reflect back to you what this new story is. Now, why is it called a partial manifestation or birds before land rather than the actual manifestation if it's the 3Ds reflecting back to you the contents of your mind? Because it usually comes partially or it comes from someone else other than the person you're really intending it to show up from. So why does that happen? Well, this is what happens, is everyone in your reality has to conform to your new story that you're focusing on, everyone. So when you start, this is how powerful your mind is, when you start affirming a new story, and let the, here, I'm going to give you an example that I got from a lot of coaching clients. So a lot of times when they start working on their self-concept, all of a sudden people will just random, like people they haven't talked to in months, years, weeks, doesn't matter, strangers, friends, family members, all these people, people they're dating, will start blowing up their phone or saying to them literally the affirmations they're affirming, like, man, you're a goddess today. Wow, you look fucking sexy as fuck. You know, like you're beautiful inside and out or whatever. Like they'll literally say back to them what this person had just started affirming. So that is birds before land. That's letting you know that the contents of your mind is being reflected back to you, that your 3D is already starting to conform to your amazing new fucking story. 
So another common thing of partial manifestations that happens is when people are, you know, affirming for something from their SP and they start getting verbatim what they want from their SP. They're getting it from other suitors, right? They're getting it from other people like exes or new people they're meeting or just random people on fucking Facebook blowing them up or sliding in their DMs and saying literally the same fucking thing that they're affirming for their SP, but they haven't heard it from their SP yet. So why does that happen? Well, again, everyone in your reality has to conform to your new story. So when you start focusing how fucking powerful you are, I'm going to say it a hundred times because we are so powerful. When you start affirming the new story and focusing in your consciousness what it is that you want, it has to be reflected. So you're already seeing the 3D conform and it's going to conform first from the path of least resistance, which what does that mean? The path of least resistance means the ones you don't have opposing stories to. You're going to experience the reflection back more quickly. The ones you have the opposing story, which is usually SP, right? That's going to take more persistence, usually. Not all the time, but just using that as an example. So this is where you want to shift your thinking if you're someone that like, oh, how come it's coming from them and not him or her? Da, 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 da. Who the fuck cares? Get excited. Stop looking at it as negative and start looking at, man, I'm powerful. This is such a great way to really help you uh, buy into your belief into everyone as you pushed out that all you did was start thinking new thoughts and you started affirming them and focusing on them. And then people just showed up saying it back to you. So how powerful are you, my friends? So get excited because that is proof to you that everyone has to conform in your reality and you just keep persisting until this is what's happening to you all the time. And then you're going to get it from the person that you want it from the most at some point. So just keep persisting. It's already giving you evidence that it's rearranging and happening behind the scenes. So start looking at birds before land as, whoa, this is already working. I mean, this is what I do. Whenever I start affirming a new story and I'm getting the reflection back, I just get more excited because I'm like, wow. So at some point, it's got to come from the person I want it to come from. You know what I mean? Like we're the avenue, the preferred way that we want it. Um, but it's exciting to see it happen. It's exciting to see how quickly your 3D can start shifting like that. And just know that's why persistence is the key. So look at it from that angle rather than the fucking doom and gloom angle that's not going to get you what you want. And get excited. Know that it's literally just a matter of time. It's, you don't know if you're one fucking thought away, like one affirmation away, right? Or if you're fucking... 500 affirmations away from getting it exactly how you want, but you don't give the fuck up. So I just wanted to share this because Birds Before Land is so fun to me. I never get tired of it. I love when clients are sharing with me as soon as they change their story, especially like a self-concept. Like this happens all the time. They'll start focusing heavily. Um, so usually when people are not focused on their self-concept and they're more heavily on their SP, they're not really seeing movement happen sometimes. So when I work with them, I'm like, you're either not affirming enough, right? So kick up your affirmation game because most people don't affirm enough to override the old story. Or um, also, you know, what are you doing with your self-concept? Because you're the star of your reality. So however you see yourself in relation to this person or this situation is what has to be mirrored back to you as well. So how do you see yourself? If you're seeing yourself as I'm not getting what I want, they don't want me, I'm not chosen, I'm not the one, well, then that's you're going to keep manifesting that. You're going to get hot and cold or nothing coming in from this person. So whenever my clients shift into self-concept and start focusing more on that, and they still affirm for their SP, money, whatever it is, but they go heavy on their self-concept, they it's amazing what happens. I've had clients that share, oh my God, I have one client, she... 30 plus years, first love of her life. They haven't seen each other or talked in 30 plus years. He reached out to her after her focusing on her self-concept in a matter of weeks. Um, and she wasn't getting any movement from her SP, the one she wants back. So this guy shows up after 30 fucking years and is telling her everything she's wanted to hear. Basically, she's affirming and she got movement from her SP because she switched to her self-concept. So this is fucking huge. Um, that is definitely birds before land, even when your SP comes in, but it's not fully you know, the experience or the version of them that you would prefer, it's still evidence that the contents of your mind are being reflected back to you. So you just keep persisting where your power is, which is in your mind. 
and you persist in the story until your 3D shows you the match of it. All right, so I hope you found this video helpful. Please like, share, and subscribe if you did, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.